Well, good afternoon, everybody. Crake and Bake here, coming back for a episode of I Definitely Know What I'm Doing after, after taking a little break around the holidays. Hopefully it was nice for everybody else. Um, as always, the holidays were a little bit of a busy time, but <clears throat> also just fun to, to see people and have some time off of work and things and uh, just... Just get some good enjoyment in, so hope everybody had a had a good set of holidays there. Um, I see we've already got a notice in the in the chat, I'm sure based off of the title, how hopefully we'll actually start to see our, our first glimpse of a cryptid today. Depending how how talented and efficient I am, we might actually even uh, get to the end of it, but um, I do have to say I'm a little bit nervous. It's it's one of my first times working on a project like this, um, so we'll we'll see how how well it all goes. But yeah, glad to have anybody here who is able to make it, and obviously anybody who hops on later. Um, but for now, we'll go ahead and get geared up and get ready to get ready to get working. Oh, and the sun's just going down. I didn't plan that at all. I better put on my armor before I head out out in the uh, potentially hazardous area. But here we can start out. There's our snow buddy. You can come up here too. We'll start out by, by giving the, the Christmas tree an admiration again as the sun's going down in the background. Um, for everyone who was able to tune in and and watch last time we did put up a Christmas tree and I thought it came out pretty slick I definitely haven't tried making an organic uh, product like that making my own tree of that scale before so it was a pretty fun project for me and just putting in a shameless plug for anyone who wasn't able to tune in my YouTube channel is up to date uh, with all the videos from from past streams so by all means uh, if you if you're enjoying watching today's stream or if you're enjoying uh, if you're on YouTube watching this one and you're liking it feel free to check those out um, but otherwise so glad you're just here to, to have a good time all right light should be starting to come on a little bit make sure nothing spooky is sneaking up behind me admire this tree for a minute and then we'll we'll head in and sleep before we start out on our adventure today well, that's good to hear that uh, even if I completely mess up, you can still have some fun. Heck, that's probably more fun watching me scramble around like an idiot when I've uh, had creepers chasing me down or things. Okay. So we are going to continue working in this little uh, wintry biome. Oh, that snow golem's going to freak me out every time it passes by. Um, our wintry biome area that we set up the tree... Um, I'm not going to take the decorations down by any means. This tree is, is just going to be here and pretty for the foreseeable future, so we'll keep that going. Um, but we will need to head back to our main base um, to get some more supplies for the build I'm going to attempt today. Um, let's see. And I should double check. I don't know how much of this stuff I'm going to keep needing. Do I have a chest in this little temporary base? I should if I don't. All right, so we'll want to try and get some more wood to make a chest just so I don't have to carry everything around with me. Make sure I'm not being blind. And actually, we could just go chop down a tree and then we won't have to won't have to run back and forth as much. All right. So we'll cut this tree down just so we get some uh, get some wood. We'll plant one back where it is, just because I liked the uh, aesthetic of having a tree back there. Well, I guess we're on to punching mode. Thankfully, we are almost to the top. Oh, all right. Can we get a sapling then? Sapling, and then we'll head on our merry way. Oh, there we go. Right there. Grab a free stick. All right. Hmm. 
sure what that noise is. Oh well, it's a mystery. Alright, make a quick chest. Bam! And we'll drop off this stuff that we maybe will need. Um, hopefully won't need too much. Um, but it never hurts to just kind of keep a couple of supplies around here until we're ready to ready to get rolling. Okay, I think I think that should take care of that. So we've got I can drop off these shears. We might want those yet. Oh, I've got leaves on me too. Boy, I just uh, I'm just ignoring a lot of these things. Well, I suppose we uh, can drop off. I've got a lot of potatoes. We don't need that bread. We'll try to empty our hands out a little bit more for this just to make sure we get everything we need. Oh, gosh, you keep scaring me. You are fun, but I uh, keep mistaking you for other things. All right. So I'll head back, go get our supplies, and then we'll be able to get working on, on our first uh, cryptid build um, of the cryptid theme. Definitely took a little while to get enough uh, supplies and enough equipment just to actually survive. Um, we learned that lesson the hard way from our pirate theme, how uh, survival is not something to be taken too lightly. Um, is that an Enderman? I think that was an Enderman. It is. I'm not in a great position to fight one right now, though, so I guess we'll just let it go. But yeah, so it's nice to nice that I feel like we're kind of at a point where we can get going on more of the aesthetic builds, which is a lot of fun. Is that just a block sitting out in the middle of the lake? I am full of distraction today, but we're going to investigate. Um, we will have to do some more resource gathering down the line. Um, kind of more of that important businessy parts of uh, keeping a survival survival game going um, well that's uh that's a funny uh, mistake going on um, of going to stitch instead of twitch and good to know that there's uh, some some over 50 dating sites out there that some some options if that ever ever becomes a necessity. Hopefully won't ever be an issue for me, but uh, but definitely who knows? Maybe someone else watch, else watching out there uh, is getting some good good tips on a place to check out. All right. Well, glad to have you here though, and that you found the right website in the end. So we're just making our slow trek back. Oh, I forgot how this path is all nice and groomed now. See, it's these nice little little aesthetic touches that just really start to bring home the the base. Just fun to see our main base over here. Of course, this is known creeper territory, so we do have to be a little bit. Oh, and I heard a zombie and a spider floating around. They're probably off and. Places we don't need to worry about, though. At least not right at the moment. Alright, so for our build today, I've got all of these colored wools. Um, and I was thinking um, I'll probably want to try and get some other things for some coloration. Um, and I don't know if this will be enough for the full build. Um, I haven't tried uh, drawing anything out ahead of time or doing anything in a tester world, so I'm not entirely sure how many resources we'll need. I kind of like just winging it when it comes to Minecraft projects. Wow. Um, I don't like to get too too caught up in uh, getting a whole lot of uh, practice runs done, um, which obviously if I might have to do for some projects down the line, but 
But for right now, anyways, I kind of like to just see where things go. All right, so I think we'll take some andesite along with, since that kind of matches with the light gray wool. Um, and some diorite can kind of balance off of like the white wool, maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't think we want any of the gravel. Well, we'll bring it along. Who cares? I've got a lot of room in my inventory. All right, I think that's good. Eat a potato quick. And then we can head on back. And actually, let's see. Did I have... No, I don't have a shears right now, and all my iron we left at the other place, so that's all right. Hopefully we'll have enough wool. If not, I'll just do a resource gathering uh, in between streams, and we'll, we'll finish this project off some other time, but hopefully we'll, we'll have everything we need for what I've got in mind. Ooh, got some good... Uh, Background music chiming in. Just those simple, simple note uh, songs that we get to hear in Minecraft. Always kind of reminiscent of uh, old arcade games and things. How they can uh, get some pretty good tunes going with, with not a whole lot of notes that they're using. A lot of rabbits around here. If we ever want to get a rabbit farm going, we definitely, definitely know where to go. All right. Well, I won't, uh, won't spoil it just yet, cause uh, there's, there's always the fun in keeping some surprise. But you may have a couple of guesses looking at the uh, colors of wool that I was collecting and. Oh, that poor rabbit's just stuck. Oh, got out. Just needed to get spooked. Um, so you may, like I was saying, have some guesses based on the colors of wool that I collected and the fact that we're in a wintry biome of which cryptid we might be working on today, but we'll let the guess keep going for, for the time being. Oh, that's right, I dumped that bucket of water and it took all the snow out. Hopefully that'll come back just for good aesthetics. This guy again. Not entirely sure who that's directed at, but I'll uh, I'll take offense to it if I have to. Uh, let's see. Is this? I think this is our path that we've been using to get in and out. Might as well keep using it because it keeps working. Do, 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 do. Oh, jeez. I did need to take offense at that. I tell you, the people who watch these streams. I guess we can let it slide, though. Family can uh, can make some, some make some fun, I suppose. Keep it up, though, and I do have the power to kick anyone out, I think. Right? It is a cozy cabin. Yeah, I don't think you were able to get on for the last stream, but uh, it was our cozy away-from-home cabin and then our uh, big old Christmas tree we were able to put together. So pretty nice little home-away-from-home spot. All right. Well, I think then there's no more stalling or... Oh, no, uh, Mothman is a, is a good guess based on these colors, and definitely I, I can see that, but uh, it's, uh, it's time to start start working on, on getting our build going. Um, so I'll, I'll give another hint. So we've got our Christmas tree... Um, and they were going to be building the cryptid in relation to the Christmas tree. Um, so first, I gotta kind of figure out where exactly I want the placement to be. We could have it be like right here by the cabin. This is 
our most open spots so far. I'm not really sure how much ground we're gonna need though. So if I do have to build out like the ground, this is probably the biggest space to do that. Yeah, I think, I think I'll add a little bit more, flatten this space out a little bit and we'll kind of build off around here. It's making just, whoops, a little bit of a platform. Um, <laughs> trying to think of the spacing I had now. The other thing too is probably going at a diagonal is going to be the best look, but I have no confidence in being able to... Granted, that would potentially help with some of the layers. No, for other parts, I think we do want it straight on. Um, so I think we'll just go ahead and build out... Build this out and do a straight on looking at the cabin um, for what we're gonna what we're gonna do. Am I being cryptic enough yet? Yeah, okay, that was a that was a low blow pun there, but but I'm taking it. Okay, I think I think this is at least enough to start with. So we'll we'll kind of start building. I even wonder if just kind of right. Right there, maybe take this back a step or two. <laughs> yeah, again, I'm really not sure how much space we'll need, but we'll just start going. So we'll start out with some dark gray wool. We'll need that white wool later. We're going to need a lot of white wool. that two three all right so that's about no i think we gotta come in one more that's too far away and this is why i like working with white wool for a colored object because it's so easy to just pick up and move um, which is probably more of a testament to my uh winging a lot of my builds where i i need to be able to take it down and put it back up pretty regularly. All right, and then I think we'll do another. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be tall. And then I'm not sure, I was thinking probably the diorite is what we're going to want. And kind of for this layer. All right. Anybody got any guesses yet that they think, boy, this is going to be huge next to the tree? I hope I have enough white wall. And then we'll get, probably go ahead and start doing the white wall and see, see where this is getting us. This is definitely going to have to be a hollow build because there is no way that we're going to have enough white wall if we don't make it hollow. Even wondering, we might need to, might need to, ooh, yeah. This is going to be a big one. Might need to bring it in just a smidge, because it might be too big the way it currently is. All right, take that down. I may have underestimated how uh, how much we were going to need for this. Yeah, that's going to be too close and maybe too big. I might need to I might need to do like smaller feet. Yeah, I think I'm getting a little too ambitious with uh, the scope of things right now. I think we're going to try slimming down a little bit. and Because uh, while it would look pretty impressive being this large from a distance, I think, I think it's a little bit larger than what we quite want, especially in relation to our Christmas tree. So it's a good thing I started with the feet, because it's a lot easier to 
reshape off of this. All right, well, it seems like the, uh, the guesses on what my build could be have slowed down unless my chat just isn't keeping up. Um, but in our wintry scape um, with our Christmas tree, I am going to be attempting an abominable snowman. Um, and I think I think legs this size is going to be a lot a lot more manageable, um, especially with considering the rest of it. So we're going to really scale down from kind of what I had just started at. Anyone who guessed Abominable Snowman, you are the winner. There is no prize other than getting to brag in the chat in the comments section. All right, this looks much more along my skill set. I even wonder, we might just have the feet, because it looks a little too much like boots and maybe not enough like the... I'm trying to make it look like there's the hair coming down, but then the hair's a little bit dirtier from, um, you know, being right up along the ground. So I think we'll maybe do this. And then maybe bring the body down one layer. Because while it would be fun to have a giant statue that was, you know, that big around, or a giant, uh, a giant build that big around, I, I don't think it's quite going to match with the rest of the scenery we've got going on. And I kind of want it to look a little bit more friendly, like we can actually go up and give this abominable a nice little hug. Well, and actually, that's probably about what we want for... Just sloping up to the next layer, or is that going to be? Yeah, Yeti. Yeti or Abominable, whichever term you prefer. I'm sure someone has a distinction out there between the two, but uh, I've always kind of equated them as being a, pretty much the same thing. And I am thinking, hmm. I wanted it to be kind of roly-poly, so I keep envisioning from the old... Uh, Rudolph movie, um, the Bumble, um, hence the Christmas tree. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if they are the same thing or not. I suppose you always hear Yeti and then Abominable Snowman. Um, so I don't know if the Abominable Snowman is supposed to be more like a snow golem type creature where it's actually like made of snow in some extent. I always pictured Yeti and Abominable Snowman more or less as the, uh, Sasquatch or the Bigfoot of of wintry places, so not sure that the that there is necessarily a distinction. All right, so I think you know what I think for the sake of well, I kind of do want it like up against the tree though, so I think that's actually just fine having it that close. We're gonna keep working around this, and we can always take it down later and rearrange if we don't feel like it's going quite right. The beauty of working with wool. Ah, boy, we really need to get some steps going. I want to be careful with my uh, water buckets, though, because I hadn't uh, hadn't thought about how it would take all the snow out with it, so I don't want to leave a whole bunch of grass paths out here in our snowy scape. All right, let's see. So we'll kind of then start building up do want to have a nice big round tummy on this guy just because i don't know i think i feel like the the cryptids like the abominables and the uh the snow or the sasquatch they always kind of get a rep of being like you know scary and mean or whatever but i always felt like they were just big friendly big friendly forest people just you know wandering around doing their thing probably more like uh oh what's that other movie uh harry and the hendersons um, it's always kind of how I envisioned, um, a lot of the, the Sasquatchy creatures was more along that line. So we definitely want to do our best to try and make this, make this guy look nice and friendly. All right. And really with the proportions we have, we're probably probably about on track. Now I am kind of just building out with plain 
uh, white wool, and then we will kind of go back. That's why I've got the, the diorite and the gray. We'll try playing around with some of that just to, again, make it look like there's some dirty patches in the in the fur and things like that. And then, of course, it's got to have some arms. So we'll, we'll kind of play around with all that sort of texturing um, as we keep going. Yeah, you're going to burn up to a crisp. That's what you get. Um, but for now, we're just going to kind of build it out with the white, and then we can always adjust later. Oh, wow, I am really going through the white. So we are going to have to <laughs> uh, switch around to that a lot sooner than I was anticipating. So we'll play with what we get, and then I might uh, be shearing sheep for a while. Which I could potentially, again, kind of bring in... You know, right now it's kind of oblong -y. Um but I could could bring in these sides, make the legs a little bit more um, right on the ends of the body. I like the roly poliness of it right now, though, so we're going to try to keep with it in this way. Let's see. Uh, oh, gosh, I'm about out of dirt. I'm going to have to start using wool to bridge on up. All right, which I can go ahead and... Oh, that was a poor idea. Da, 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 da. Go ahead and do that. We'll start, uh, start getting our layer like this going, kind of close off around the circle. Again, love working with wool for colored projects because it's so much easier to reset than like colored glass or um, I, the terracotta. Granted, I've never used terracotta or concrete. I know those are out there now. Um, but I don't really know how, uh, how difficult they are to rearrange once you put them up without a... Uh, one of those pickaxes, the... Oh, gosh, I can't think of the enchantment that makes you not break things, but... Anyways, neither here nor there. No, it's too... That's too wide for the head. The head needs to be a little bit smaller. More of a 3x3. Three three. Okay, so if we're doing it this size, we will have enough wool... But we will have to decide if that's looking about right proportionally. So with a big build like this, it's always good to go back. And yep, that's a little... Well, I don't know, actually. I guess that is about right for, for the head. But I think the body maybe is a little too roly-poly. So we'll go ahead and... Bring these edges in. A little bit, a uh, little bit boxy, a little bit too round. We'll see if cutting the corners in makes that. Whoops. Well, I guess I'm going down after all. Meant to stay up there, but thankfully I've got a little, little ladder going. So yeah, I hope everyone uh, is happy with uh, this being our our first cryptid that we've got getting. Getting that abominable snowman. It still still feels a little bit like Christmas time yet. I know it's, it's all done, but just kind of that Christmassy, wintry feeling that you get for a little while while you're still coming off of that holiday high. We did just have our last uh, family Christmas party a week ago, so it's not like it's been that far away from, from the holidays. Yeah, that's looking... That's looking a lot more reasonable. I'm liking this little guy. All right, so now the face obviously is going to need a little bit of tuning. Um, so that's what I've got these um, other wools for. So we're going to try doing like the, the light gray wool and the black wool for making the face. Give him some nice, nice big old Minecrafty eyes. Um, yeah, I have way too much black wool and not enough white wool. I don't know what I was thinking with this. I guess I wasn't really thinking about it though. The the sheep were 
given me what they were given me. All right, that already looks pretty cute to me, but let's go back and oh, such a happy little, little abominable. I think we will go ahead and build out the white wool though around the face more. Um, so we might make the neck a little bit bigger. We'll see. But just looking like a cute little roly-poly snow monster. Just wants to hang out in the, in the winter, after all. And actually, I might just kind of leave that. Then it kind of will maybe look more like a hood. Um, give a little bit of depth back there. Because, you know, you got to think about how the build's going to work um, from all sides. We could even... So kind of like a... Let's see. Maybe at this level. So a lot of hoods, you know, but then the... Then the back's exposed. All right, never mind. Um, with a build, though, you don't want to just neglect the the back to to just make one side look good. You kind of want to make it look good from always around. Um, so I think I think we'll go ahead and leave that like that. We might even I'll probably build out a little extra square. That's what I'll do because it it's supposed to all be fur, but Kind of make it look more like a rounded head, kind of like they're wearing a hood kind of idea. Uh, so go ahead and like, like this. Well, thanks. Glad that the uh, the beginning step. Ooh, that actually was a step in the backwards direction there. <laughs> ah well. I don't think it was a make-or-break kind of aesthetic there, so we'll just go ahead and get rid of that, because it uh, did not come out the way I was hoping. And I think if we take off these, because it was like a 3x3, three three, so it'll look silly if it's just like a two-block gap. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just take this out. Um, however, I do think we'll maybe build up right there a little bit more and then like right there maybe well yeah because we gotta we gotta build out the arms yet so I think we can go ahead and maybe do that as like a shoulder And to match the stubby little legs we gave them, we'll give them some stubby little arms. I suppose that arm, though, we could maybe have reaching up like it's... Maybe even give it some of the... I think we've got one or two pieces of glass left, so make it look like it's putting an ornament up or something. So let's see. If we do something kind of like this... Actually, we should probably, to, again, to kind of match the arms as being a little, a little bit more, uh, or to match the feet. Ooh, boy, I'm low on health. Well, not low, low, but lower than I thought. You get distracted with building stuff, and you don't notice that you're, you know, closer to death. All right. Get some diorite, like right here. And then we'll give, like, a... Uh, Dark gray again for the arm, or for the hand, little hand. All right, does that look about right? It might look about right. I think I'll maybe bring the shoulder in a little bit. I don't know. The shoulder's just looking a little silly to me. And it'll probably help once we shape out the rest of the body a little bit more. I think if we take that in and that in, I think that was just a little, a little too far out. Mirror it on this side. And then we'll head down and try making the other arm too, just to try and uh, give it more of a balanced look and then give it another look from a distance. So we'll give it... 
white wool. Hup, hup, there we go. And a diorite. And then the wool black. Or the dark gray, I should say. Oh, he's adorable. Look at that little hand going up. Which I suppose this does uh, leave the option um, for potentially down the line uh, if we do decide to try and get some more resources going. Maybe this is the little baby abominable. Um, the little baby bumble. And then the adult... The adult Yeti is maybe going to be off in that cave or something. That's just like looming over the mountain. That was another hilarious part of the old Rudolph uh, movie was the scale of the abominable snow monster just constantly changing. There's the one scene where it's looming over the mountain and it's as big as the mountain itself. And then the other scene where it's like as big as the reindeer. And yeah, just, just funny, but uh, you gotta love it. Well, I don't know. I am loving this cute little, cute little snow monster we got going on. Gotta, gotta make sure I'm not jumping off a ledge here. But it's kind of cute and round, and got the little, the little textures for. There's the, the feet and the hands and the little face. Oh yeah. I didn't expect it to be as cute to me as as, as it's ended up being, but uh, I am. Quite happy that that's the uh, result that's coming out. I hope everyone else is liking it, because this, uh, this is definitely what we're sticking with. All right, so I think then we'll grab uh, one of these to kind of mimic um, the ornaments that we have up. And I don't know if we want these other colored wools. I'll kind of bring them along with, and we can play with it. Oh, and I guess we'll have to be a little... A little conscientious here. Yes, it should still work. So like our trick we use for putting the ornament, ornaments up. Yeah, an abominable snow boy. Not a snowman, a snow boy. Or maybe a girl. We could give it some bows. That might be kind of fun and cute. We'll, uh, we'll leave that open to the, the voting in the in the chat there. If you Whoever outwins that one, if they want it to be a snow boy or a, a little snow gal, we'll... Or, you know, who knows? Either, either way, they might just look better with the bow. Um, but so like our trick that we used for the, the ornaments hanging around um, with the glass kind of on the, the one pane, um, we'll go ahead and do that on his hand, which thankfully um, is not, not uh, touching any other surfaces so we can get that single pane look. Plop that right there. And then for the sake of just looking at some different visual options, we'll maybe go ahead and um, plop. Well, I suppose I'm right on top of that, aren't I? Uh, da, 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 da. Try doing like, oops. Like that, that probably isn't gonna quite look right. Yeah, it doesn't quite match up just because none of the other ornaments really have, uh, or lights really have, like, a bulb like that hanging off. It's more like he's holding one of the presents on a chopstick or something. So, yeah, I think we'll just take away the wool, but leave the leave the glass pane there to, to look like they're, they're decorating. Okay, so we'll take away our scaffolding for the moment, um, and then we can kind of take a peek, see, um, we might want to make like the belly a little bit more round, um, or maybe uh, change out some of the fur again, getting some of that different texturing going. Um, so we'll take a peek and just kind of see for the structure um, what kind of changes we might want to make. Which I gotta say, I am kind of liking... Well, the top there... Yeah, we gotta take out those top corners. It's a little... Of course, I don't know. Maybe the... 
Maybe the little bit of boxiness up towards the shoulders is okay. Yeah, maybe we will leave that because it's more of a shoulder appearance. Um, but the belly, we could try maybe making the belly or the back come out just a little bit more. Um, just to again kind of further round out the shape. Got just a little bit of white wool left, so we're definitely gonna have to be a little conservative with. Oh, okay, this might be happening. Uh, get a nice, nice placement where we're able to duck and cover. Oh, I don't see that ender anymore. I felt like there's been an Enderman bopping around this area in general, though, so it'd be nice to not have to deal with it anymore. All right. Where'd you go? The main thing is I just don't want them taking my snowboy apart. Definitely something going on in right there. Cave of some sort. Making noises. Alright. You win again this round, Mr. Ender. Not seeing where you zooped off to. It is nice, though, uh, being out in this snowy area the uh the, the hostile mobs definitely do not seem to be nearly as rampant so it's been uh nice not looking over my shoulder every five seconds for a creeper or something like that all right anyways we were getting a little well that looks silly on this side getting a little rounding out going though yeah i don't think the front needed really any more rounding. I think we'll just take that away, but maybe uh, adding a little bit of different coloring will just kind of help pull out the texture a little bit. We could maybe bring in these corners, Mike. Where were you hiding? That's right. Oh, and actually, I kind of like it like that, because it's kind of like it's uh, the fur is kind of tufted up up there and then making a, a little bit of a V-shape down. Um, so maybe go ahead and leave it on that side. This side looks pretty good and um, set up just because the um, it's got the arm to kind of break things up. Uh, the face is pretty flat though. We might we might have the face actually come out a little bit more. I didn't realize how fat, flat the face looks from the from the side. Now the back is a little hard to look at. Don't want to jump off the ledge by accident. But yeah, I think I think I like the back being kind of more rounded out like that. Makes it a little bit more round looking, but doesn't. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think the back is maybe good for the shape, and then the. And then this side. And I think, unlike the front, we'll maybe leave the corners alone on that side. Um, we could could bring them in on the side sides, though. Maybe even, maybe even bring it in right by the arm there. That's ah, probably too much to bring it in by the arm. Oh, just when I was going on about not having to deal with creepers. I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, this jerk. Well, good thing we got a snow golem to help us out here. Okay, never mind. I took care of that on my own. Ugh. 
just celebrating, not having to deal with them all the time. Gash. All right, so again, that nice multi-angle view. So from this side, I think that looks good. Having it kind of brought in more. I think we'll go ahead and bring this in just a little bit. So we want to keep it looking a little bit roly-poly, but not, uh, not like a super duper amount. Or we want to, I guess I should say, we want to have it shaped a little bit too. So not like just completely round. Of course, who knows? I really have no clue what the anatomy of a abominable snowman looks like, so... It's entirely up to my imagination here. All right, I think that's the shapes we want to go for. I love how the legs are just like the little, little short little legs, little short little arms, and the big old, big old round body going on. All right, we got our potato, we got our sword, we're good for a nap. I wonder if you could make a potato sword. That seems like a mod that needs to come out. All right. You keep a look out there. Little snow bud. And otherwise, we're going to head on up. Oop. And make the face. So we need the black. And the uh, light gray. Maybe just the light gray? Like leave the eyes kind of sunken in? All right, let's see if that ruined the effect. Yes, it did. Ooh, yes, it did. Yep, that looks silly having it with, uh, just like that without the eyes coming out too. Um, hopefully, hopefully it looks good from the side though. Maybe. I think we gotta bring the eyes out and reevaluate. Of course, I do kind of like the look of it being like, like it's got its face in a hood. Might not want to have it. Have it like this. All right, let's stick that one out there. That one there. Played a lot of block man back in my day, so I definitely know how to make make little ladders out of blocks like this. Oof, that was a that was a high quality graphing calculator game for anyone else who had the joy of playing Blockman. Yeah, the face just doesn't look the same when you have it popping out like that. So even though it does does kind of help with the uh, flattening or bringing out some depth on the side of the face now granted we could just try putting some white snow around it again or white wool i should say so it'll still look like there's a big hood on um, but then it maybe is a little less flat from the the side view oh hey it's snowing all right yep the, the face looks better again with the hood up so I like it from the, the straight on. Um, and I think it still looks fine with the straight on and the being out one extra layer. How's it look from the side? All 
Oh, geez, I'm hearing scary things. Yeah, that might, uh, that might have been the touch we needed, just getting that little bit of extra. Just to kind of, just to give it a little bit more depth, I guess. Um, it just looked a little, a little too silly and, um, and flat from the, the side view. So, all right, well, we'll give that a shot, see how that works out. Okay. Oh, we're getting all covered in snow now. Which is good. I wanted the tree to have some snow cover on it. And the ground patches were getting a little silly looking without the, the snow cover. Okay, so we've got our fun little fun little abominable right there. So then I guess we'll start trying to do some of that texturing in. I'm not sure how much we're going to need or how much will uh, make it actually look good. Um, so we'll kind of kind of just play with it and if we don't like it we can always go back to all white because I do think the all white looks nice and fun okay let's see so I think we'll start out we've got like the gravel and the um, andesite um, I've got two light gray walls. That's why I'm confused. That and a lot of other reasons, but we'll say that's the main reason right now. So how does it look having, like... Now, probably not, not that one. But, like, that one? Oh, that might be too dark. Which, that actually might be a nice transition for the leg. And then using like the diorite for up there. See all my indecisiveness, and now I got to use a pick. Ugh. So I'll try the diorite there. Oops, that's not going to help. Andesite there. Of course, that might not be enough of a transition from the. But just trying to again give it a little. A little bit of texture, a little bit of life. Because, um, you know, you think about the little snowman. A little snow boy is uh, out tromping around and not necessarily staying clean all the time. Getting a little, a little dirty from from flopping around in the snow and just kind of generally not, not giving a flying, flying fart about if they get dirty or not. Um, so we'll just kind of see how a little bit of, a little bit of breaking up with some textures like that. We can, maybe the light gray wool would be kind of a nice touch for this kind of chest part, um, just as a distinction of color. Let's give that a little try. Oh! Well, thanks for taking along and uh, hanging out for, for a little while during the build. I'm glad you're able to come hang out and that you found the right website, too. Well, I, by all means, the, the stream should be up on, on Twitch for a week uh, afterwards to kind of catch up on any any missed part. Oh, hey. Oh, jeez. You stop being on fire, too. Oh, because it's snowing. Yeah, my escaping did not work. All right, let's uh, let's be smart about this. Go in here, eat a potato, and then we'll take care of the zombie. Hey, eat potato. There we go. Oh, he burned to a crisp. We're good. Gotta be paying a little bit more attention to, to how much food I've got. Alright. In fact, let's just go ahead and eat another potato right away, because we're going to want to get that health bar back up. Dude. 
do? Oh, what am I holding on to? The andesite. Ah, well, maybe that'll actually be the look we like. Because the andesite does have a little bit more of a texture going to it, so... All right, we'll give that a quick little, little check. Yeah, maybe not the whole center, but maybe like just the very, very center. I can try like a diorite. Eh, maybe not right there. Where my white wool at? that out. And so just kind of playing around with the colors we like. Sometimes it takes a little bit to, to get just the right setup. Oh, I'm really losing some wool into this thing. I didn't have much of the white to play around with. in my nice little secret cove over here. No, we won't use you like a secret base. You're too cute for that. But that definitely could be a fun thing to do some other time of making a little, little secret base out of one of the cryptids or shaped like a cryptid. Who knows? All right. Sleep away the the spooky things. Get a better look at our our snow friend in the in the daylight. Okay, let's see here. Na, 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 na. How do we like that? I think go ahead and do that. Oops. And that and that. And then, you know, I bet when the snow comes down, that'll kind of give it a little cover. We could even put like a white wool carpet across the top. That might kind of give that little bit of a border. I feel like it's just a little little sharp of an edge there. I'm trying to find some ways to, to break it up a tiny bit. Oh geez, it's doing a dance. And definitely sometimes you can get a little too carried away with some of the... Oops. Some of the different color things you try and do, you try and do like a hundred different, um, you know, blocks all together to, to give it a distinction and it just ends up making it too busy. So you got to be a little careful with some of that. I might put this back to, back to some white wall. I don't think I like that being off centered like that. Especially for kind of using the andesites like the hands and stuff. I don't know. You know, I'm I'm trying to do some texturing and stuff, but I really, I really just like the look of this little guy. And you know, maybe if we were doing an even larger build, um, having a lot more layers and textures and stuff would be important. Um, but for this little guy, I am just kind of liking the way that the way that things look. And ultimately, that's kind of the important thing, right? Is that, you know, it may not be artistically the best or something, but it's it's the project that I like. I, I like the way it looks. Oh, wait. Apparently, I don't know how to make carpet. All right, so we'll do... I think we actually do need six of them. I think this will give just kind of a little bit of an extra border up along the top. Just kind of transition a little bit more. 
kind of like doing the slab uh, where you get that half appearance. And um, then too, when it snows up here again, they'll probably add that little bit of an extra level. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead, break down our scaffold and give it, give it a good look over. But otherwise, I don't know. I just, I kind of like, I like the appearance of our little, our little snow friend here. Our cute little snowy friend. <laughs> Do we like that belly spot like that? Maybe they'll even just make it all diorite. Just didn't quite look right. Yep. Ah, totally missed that jump. Maybe someday I'll do the fancy jumps and tricks and things, but that day is not today. Probably need a computer that can handle things like that a little bit better too. Still playing on my laptop so it uh, doesn't pro I'm sure keep up with the all the uh, frame rates that I need for landing all the jumps just right. All right. How does that seem? I like that better. Yeah, and I think we'll put the carpet level across again just to just to kind of top it off a little bit. Oh, nope, that didn't work. I wondered what would happen if you tried carpet on carpet. Okay. Clean up after after making our mess. Do a nice little sweep around. Eat a potato. And then do one last ta-da. Yeah. I like it. It's not a hundred percent what I was thinking in my head when I was mapping it out, but it uh, definitely came out in some ways better than what I had originally been planning and definitely a lot smaller, um, but also larger in some aspects. Um, yeah, I guess that's kind of a weird phenomenon of I thought the wool would go further, um, which to be fair, a lot of the wool did go far because we didn't hardly use any of certain colors, but yeah. Otherwise, I like them. They're They're a fun little Fun little addition right there. Just this nice, happy little abominable snow monster just hanging out, making a little Christmas tree. Which, uh, it's a little, got out a little bit late on the one being doing the Christmas tree decorating for this year. Um, maybe, maybe we could say that he's taking it down now. We put up the tree and now he's coming, he got attracted to the decorations and is pulling it down. If this little snow boy's anything like my little girl, uh, taking down the tree is probably the more exciting part than putting it up. Um, and then trying to eat all the ornaments and lights and things. But yeah, well, very fun. Well, with that, officially, we have our first cryptid, then, of the cryptid theme. Um, it, it took longer into the into this theme than I was expecting to start getting something that was quite on point with the uh, with the builds that we were wanting to do um, but I, I really like how 
how the outcome is, and definitely I'm uh, a lot more survivable than I had been uh, with our last last go around. So that's also very helpful. Um, so next time we'll probably work on our main base a little bit more. I know we had a couple of decoration projects that I had abandoned for the sake of getting our holiday decorations up. Um, and then otherwise hopefully get some more more of these fun little guys just dotted around the around the uh, I don't know where we set up our base in our observation zones. Maybe I'll just make them all cute and roly poly like this, not have any of them be be scary cryptids, just little little cute little button cryptids. All right, well I'm hearing a lot of scary zombies and skeletons and other things moving around out there. Must be a cave underneath us that keeps spawning things. So we'll hang out in here until until the next time. And I wonder if we can get all of these back in one go. Oh, it's close. It's very close. I guess we could leave the snow and the chest out here in the base just because that's uh, fitting. So yeah, there we go. We got everything back that we need to for, for next time. And we've got our new little buddy hanging out here and... Otherwise, that seems like a good note to, to wrap things up for the day. So thanks, everybody. Who, oh, I am armed with carpet. I should probably fix that. There we go. Thanks, everybody, who was able, able to come hang out and do some decorating and have a, have a little bit of fun there. Um, this has been Craig and Bake doing a cryptid-themed episode of I Definitely Know What I'm Doing. I'm glad you're all able to come hang out. and Hope you had a happy holidays and have a good... Good rest of your day today. See ya.